Hi, I'm Stephen and welcome to Audio Nautica. I just want to tell you guys about an upcoming project that I've got. It's a power amplifier build. I had a viewer send me these modules in the post. So I'm really thankful to Harrison from Modulus Design Systems. I'll put a link in the description. And yeah, he sent me these modules. So this is obviously for a stereo power amplifier. So what I've got here, these are the uh, speaker delay and DC protection boards. And um, that one is good for up to 40 amps. And then we've got these uh, amplifier module boards. So obviously I've got two of these. And this is a 220 watt class AB amplifier. So the plan is, is to build a power amplifier out of these modules. So thanks again to Harrison for sending these to me. But guys, I'd really like your input onto how I could go about doing this. The challenge that I've got is I do not have um, gear here in the workshop really to be doing like metal work kinds of things. So um, it's not really an option for me to be having to do um, holes in front panels. So I'm going to need to source an enclosure for this. Obviously, uh, it's going to have some big heat sinks at the back. Um, so yeah, I need, I need a chassis, I need an enclosure, and I need one that either they'll custom do the holes in it for me for what I need, or an off-the-shelf one that will work. So because it's just going to be a power amplifier, I guess all it's going to need is two RCA ins. Um, I haven't actually even checked on this thing to see whether it will take balanced ins. Um, I'll need to check that. But yeah, presumably it's going to be two RCA ins, then two sets of banana plug for the speaker outputs. Obviously an IEC um, power uh, input socket and whether it has the fuse built into the IE socket or a separate fuse holder, I don't really mind. And a power on switch and a power indicator. I guess the indicator could be built into the switch. And yeah, that's probably about all that it's going to need. Um, I guess possibly maybe a, a 220 slash 110 voltage selection switch, but that's probably not a really probably not really needed. So anyway, that's what it's going to need. I'm also going to have to build a power supply for this as well. I've got a, a big toroidal transformer here that I think I'll be able to use. This doesn't actually need a regulated supply. So all I need is the, is the tranny, a bridge rectifier, and some thumping great big smoothing caps. And that'll basically cover the, um, the power supply. So according to the data sheet, it takes unregulated plus or minus 40 volts up to max plus or minus 60 volts DC. So that sounds kind of pretty sensible to me. So yeah, so obviously I'm going to have to fit a power supply inside the enclosure as well as these boards and room for the connectors and so on. So yeah, I'd really love to hear your ideas, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you've got any suggestions as to uh, enclosures or chassis that you think would work really well with this project, let me know. I want to come up with a, a proper detailed plan in my mind as to how I'm going to go about this. Uh, rather than just diving in and starting to build something, it will definitely end up a disaster. So I need to have a good plan in my mind as to how this build is going to go. And I'm really thankful for your input in the comments as to how I can go about doing that. Uh, it'll probably be a while before I do get to this project. Um, it could be, could be six months or more before I get to it because I've got a few other things on the go. But um, I just wanted to let you guys know what I'm thinking about and what's coming up with this one. So thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much to all my subscribers. We recently passed a thousand subs, so that's wonderful. You can support me over at Patreon, and you can also check out my other channel, Watch Out. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye for now.